Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. Today we are filming with Faye Delante, the thrifting queen, at the Salvation Army store in Rockdale. <laughs> now it's spring or February yeah. and I'm really trying to just not just cut down on my spending but also shop more mindfully, particularly mm -hmm. in respect to the environment and the damage that the textile industry causes. Mm -hmm. You're the guru, like can you please give us your tips as to how to thrift? I have so many tips. My first one is definitely look in the men's sections because you can find really great tailoring no matter your shape or size. Mm -hmm especially with men's jackets. So this is a Hugo Boss jacket. Okay, we have a Hugo Boss jacket. Um, these would cost thousands, thousands in the department stores. Yeah, so this one is $15. $15. So my tip here is to cinch the waist, so wear a really nice belt, push up the sleeves, that. pop the collar, and then you just chic in like five seconds. And then my other tip is with men's button downs. So again, really great for any shape or size you can roll up the sleeves and tuck it in but then the other thing i love to do is actually crop them so i will literally cut them in half and then i will throw that in the machine and when you get 100 percent cotton like this gant mm. button down it will give you that really cool frayed look that you'll see on a lot of designer pieces anyway yeah. and it's going to cost you 10 bucks so there right. you go. also whilst we're here in the men's department talking mm. white shirts can you quickly explain to everyone your french cuff so normally when you have a shirt like this, you, you'll roll like this, right? And you'll keep rolling and then it'll end up looking really thick and sausage-like. That's not what we want. Yeah. Plus it falls down. Yeah. So what I do is I make one giant cuff. So imagine that's going all the way up your arm. You make one giant cuff and then fold it once, fold it twice, and then you bring this over. And so then that will sit much neater and it won't move. $30, yeah. a salon jacket, blazer. Look at this. It's it nice. started with the buttons and we were like, wow, they're nice buttons. And then I said, is that YSL? And then we looked inside and it's wool. wool. And then we looked at the other side. Holy da -da -da. moly. Belts are the best because they just add to your outfit. They just add that instant wow. And my tip is, I always look in the men's section for belts too, but extra long ones because you can do this effect, which is looping the belt. So if you look at a lot of runway shows, you'll see these kind of finishes on designer collections. So the belts will be looped just so, or the collar will be popped. It's like all these little tricks mm. that designers yeah. do. And they're very subtle. It's not until you, someone points it out to you, you wouldn't you couldn't put your finger on it. That's yeah. right. But they're all little things that you can do to thrift clothing that will make it look designer. So. Obviously this is too big for Canna, but that's a good thing because what we're going to do is instead of putting this through a hole, we're actually going to put it at the top of the belt like that. And then we're going to bring this bit underneath. So you've got this bit at the top here, and then we're going to pass this through here. And then you get that beautiful finish on the belt, which is very Vivian Westwood, McQueen, they all have that kind of finish. So that will give you that feel. And then we push the sleeves up, you can actually get these things mm. they're called sleeve garters yep. and they hold your sleeves in place. Don't worry about sizing, just if you like something, you can alter it. All right, I'm going to keep this on because I'm loving it. I'm going to, I'm going to like, as we go around the store, hearing Faye's amazing tips, I'm going to potentially like build myself a little outfit if, you don't, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's do it. I love that. So before we launch into the scarves and accessories and get it, I get overexcited, Faye's going to show us a really frugal way of addressing my um, sleeve situation. Do you want to save money? Rubber bands. Just make sure they're not too tight because you'll cut off your circulation. Not an ideal situation. So what you do is just put it kind of roughly around your elbow, ruch it up, bring that over, and then fold it, and the sleeves will stay. Really easy. I'll do this other one for you. That's so cute. It stays up all day long. Yeah. So my next trick is with scarves. There's so many different ways that you can wear this. The first thing that I would do is to just simply drape it over the shoulder, tuck it under the belt, and this is Berber, the very Burberry. They do this a lot in their collections. And then it just gives the blazer a little bit of something something. So you're not just doing something something, you're actually styling it in such a way where you're actually putting the scarf under the... Yes. Yeah. 
the lapel. That's right. You can put it under the lapel. Under the belt, under the lapel up and just throwing it off. And then it gives you this really nice pop of colour. And so you could just wear a simple black skirt or pants. Maybe we'll even find you one. Cool. Can we try it with I've been eyeing this one off. That black and white one's also nice too. Mm. That's beautiful. So yeah. So this is inspired by designers like um, Alexander McQueen, big fan of the asymmetrical panel. So that's draping or material hanging off one side and quite often longer than the other side. But the easiest way to get this, and this is something, if you're going to a cocktail party, you could just wear a classic black dress with a belt or a classic black suit, mm. and then you could add this asymmetrical panel. So all you do is just literally bring it up over here and then just tuck it. Oh wow. And then you have this really beautiful sort of designer inspired panel. It's just a nice statement piece, yeah. really easy. You could also wear this underneath as a top or even cross it over mm. underneath so it covers your um, chest area. Mm. Then you've got this really nice you know, crossed effect um, at the front okay. and then belt it again. Brooches are your thing, it's your signature style. What's your secret, by the way, to finding such beautiful brooches? Oh, I just constantly look. I prefer like more muted tones, so I don't go for super colourful brooches. I'll yeah. go for gold, pearls, blacks, mm. white, silvers. Yeah, beautiful. Because that's timeless and it looks more expensive. So take, for example, this. This is pewter made in Scotland. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. And I think it's probably a kilt pin, actually. Um, so that's something really beautiful that's, that's that going to go so, so chic, well there, yeah. especially with that green too, the green. Mm. And then I found this little um, guy as well. So we're going to pin both of those on and I'll show you oh, how yeah, it looks. Okay. Yeah, All right. yeah, we're going to layer it up. Why hold back at one? Ah, hello. <laughs> yeah. I always start just in the most the simplest place, just on the lapel. But I've been known to put them on belts and down the side of things. And I just think they're fantastic. Just give you that instant glamour. So that looks beautiful. It's just so elegant. It just, yeah. And it adds such a personal touch. I think all these brooches in here are like 2 to $5. See, between the jack, the blazer, and the brooches, I reckon you've probably got like a almost a $3,000 outfit here. Yeah, and we haven't even hit $40 yet, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> so there you go. Also, the funny misconception with the thrift store, which I admit to having, is I used to think they were disorganized, disheveled, just like chaos. Mm -hmm. You could never find them. You have to spend hours and hours. But in fact, everything is actually really neatly organized, nicely presented, mm. everything is stacked up so you don't have to go rummaging at all. It is much easier for you and you know, and the staff are always really knowledgeable yeah. as well. Yeah. When you're thrifting, just start with the really classic pieces. Be open to what you might yeah. find. Yeah. Um, That's the thing, you've got to be open because you totally. sometimes that you're not I guess the I guess the magic of life is when you least expect you to yes. find something you find it. That's right. And that's got to be open. And, and that's the joy of this, you know, because yeah. it is like a giant treasure hunt. Oh, yeah. But I think oh. I, I'm, I'm kind of of two minds. I go with the purpose, but then I also leave room for surprise yeah. and, and fun. So. Open to the flow of the unexpected. Amen. All right, talking of the unexpected. First things first, we found Ralph Lauren safari styles, but still really current season. It's got beautiful buttons. I mean, this is just a good example of another great thing about thrifting is that you can find high-end designer and this is 40 bucks yeah i mean you knew this would be and or so. it looks and feels brand new like yeah. this is not worn at all no. the, the denim is still really thick and heavy yeah yeah it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. and then we also yeah. found this hugo boss button down but again i can see that see you in this just with jeans just simple white like yeah. trainers mm. you know just running around with the kids just yeah, really absolutely put together but classic and simple i just wanted to talk to you briefly this is another tip about vintage so some vintage you might look at and you think gosh i could never wear that that's too looks like a costume but this is a beautiful piece i think it's yeah. actually suede my goodness, um, $50. And it's $50. And the thing is, with a vintage piece, you're not going to go to a party or, or go into a restaurant and someone's going to be wearing the same outfit. That's like, right. you're one of a kind. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. And that's the thing with vintage. It was just, it was made better back then because yeah. we're talking pre-fast fashion. Oh. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a totally different beast, which oh. is a good thing. Yeah, as I see something else across the room. Okay, that's great. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop looking for the unexpected because <laughs> otherwise we'll never get out of here. You'll be unexpectedly broke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
sleep there and I have to admit, I got a little bit worried because I'm like, oh, hang on, this is probably out of my comfort zone. So a simple cami like this so pretty. is $3 and it's just, you could wear this underneath that. That's what I was thinking. Too. You know, <laughs> or in summer you could cinch it into a pair of high-waisted Levi's or, you know, wear it with a little skirt and a belt, layer some jewels on top. It's just a really good base. This is a unique colour um, and it's just... They're so great. I often find slip dresses in here as well. You could wear it under a blazer. Yeah. You can wear it with sandals. You can layer it in winter under trench coats and mm. boots. Mm. Uh, and I also always look out for corsets too because, again, they look fantastic under men's suiting. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're in the skirt section. Like, what more can you do with a skirt? So my tip here is think outside the box with what an item might be. Something I love to do is I will actually wear it over my head and you can wear it as a one shouldered top and belt it and you can put a jacket over the top of that it's a skirt make sure you buy what you generally love value use and appreciate particularly what you need all right everyone thank you so much for watching in copy going well with google february you can see that fashion can be sustainable and good for your finances don't forget to subscribe and of course make sure you're following us on instagram both Faye and myself. Ciao for now.